Hey. Okay. Hello, hello, friends. Woo. All right. It is Brittany Bud coming at you live. I've got my Facebook live stream. I've got my Instagram live stream. I'm looking at everything. What does this mean? Don't even tell me. Okay. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Brittany Budd. I'm a mindset and business coach, and I help online entrepreneurs to build and scale their businesses to six figures and beyond using organic social media marketing strategies. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm super excited. I have not done a live training in way too long, actually. It's been a, it's been a hot second. And tonight, I wanted to talk to you guys about the importance of being known as an expert in your niche. I have encountered too many female entrepreneurs, especially who are saying things like, I don't want to be known as an expert because experts are like, oh, what is the word? Like you can't connect with them. It's, it's not, it's not normal. People aren't just naturally experts. And so they're like, I want to be like relatable. That's the word I'm looking for. I want to be relatable to my audience. And so my audience isn't experts. And so I shouldn't be an expert either. And here is where this is a huge problem. Hi, Jesse. People are looking to you to help them with their problems. And if you are pretending like you're not an expert, then they're not going to hire you to help them with their problems. Because why would they? Like, I'm not going to hire my next door neighbor to help me with my business. Hey, can you help me scale my business to seven figures this year? Like, she's definitely not an expert. I super love her. She's so nice. But why would I do that? <laughs> I want to hire an expert. And so first and foremost, it is not a problem. There is no shame in claiming your expertise. With that being said, you do not need to know everything to be an expert in your niche. So like, let's stop with this whole like mindset, imposter syndrome bullshit, where you're like, I have to have all the certifications, I have to have all kinds of degrees and licenses before I can do anything in my business. Because no one's gonna pay me if I don't have these, I can't help people if I don't have these. This, again, is a bunch of bullshit. You can help people that are like, just a couple of months behind you in your journey. I like to think of it as like, imagine we all were just like dropped into the ocean. <laughs> some people know how to swim. Some people don't know how to swim. Let's pretend you didn't know how to swim. Okay. You see someone, there's lots of people drowning. This, this is entrepreneurship people, but you see someone and they're just like doggy paddling, right? They're just like, do, 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 do. They're not like doing these like Michael Phelps. They're just like do, 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 doing my little doggy paddles. And you're like, can you show me how to do that so that I don't drown? <laughs> They're like, totally. I can absolutely show you how to do this. Now you know how to doggy paddle. Guess what? You can stop some extra drownings by teaching people how to doggy paddle, right? <laughs> like you don't have to be Michael Phelps to help people from drowning. Does that make you an expert? I think that experts don't fully exist because we're always learning and growing and expanding our minds and expanding our horizons. However, like you can still help people. You can still look like an expert in your field while you are learning, okay? And so it's super de duper important that you can tell people what it is that you do in under six seconds. Because humans, we're talking more fishing here, we're talking more ocean talk, humans have the mental capacity for six seconds of information and then they're, bloop, they're gone, they're over it, they're done. <laughs> six seconds, this is not a lot of time to grab someone's attention and tell them what you do, how you can help them and why they should give a shit. Most people, especially anywhere in business, cannot effectively say 
what they do, how they can help someone, and why that someone should give a fuck about it, okay? You have six seconds. Can I share something with you? Two of my old business coaches thought that my six second pitch was amazing and friends, it was fucking bullshit. They were like, this is so good. I can't believe that they let me do this for as long as I did. But my original like elevator pitch, my six second pitch was, hey, I'm Brittany Budd. I'm a mindset and business coach. And I help female entrepreneurs to build confidence and create success so they can live the life of their dreams. And while that sounds very jazzy and cool, it doesn't mean fuck all. No one knows what that means. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't compel anyone to want to hire me because it doesn't give them a vision. It doesn't say, hey, I can help you build confidence. What the fuck does that mean? Create a life of their dreams? What the fuck does that mean? And if people can't feel connected to what you're saying in those six seconds, they're off to somebody else, which is why my pitch now is, I'm gonna help you make six figures and more organically in your business. Like one to two hours a day, no ads, lots of fun, lots of money, okay? And people are like, yes, I want this. I don't want to pay for ads. I don't want to work all day and have my phone attached to me. Like I have no idea what I'm doing and I can't be with my kids and I'm snapping at them and I'm yelling at my husband. This is not what I signed up for. And so it's so important to know exactly what you do, to know exactly who you help, to know exactly how you help them and how to make them care so that when you're having this conversation with people, you can tell them very quickly and immediately look like you know what the fuck you're talking about and you are an expert here, okay? How many of you feel super confident in your six seconds what you do? Like show of hands, I wanna see them. Do you feel super confident in what you do? In telling people what you do? Often I see people who are amazing at what they do, not amazing at explaining it at all. And so this is one of the topics that I'm gonna be covering in the Babe to Boss 90 Day Intensive Mastermind because it is something that needs to be perfected so that you can position yourself as someone who knows their shit so that people want to pay you because your ability to quickly communicate commands the room. It lets people know exactly what you're about and they can quickly determine if they trust you enough to pay you. And so in the 90 day intensive, this is just one of the many things that we will be covering to position you as an expert so that people throw their money at you. You can sign clients and sign customers with ease and having a lot of fun doing it. Okay, the doors are still open. You can go to brittanybud.com forward slash intensive to apply. It's very exclusive and it's very fun. Jesse says, I'm very confident in mine now because of your mastermind. Jesse is from my May class of my master mastermind and she's a postpartum coach. She is on fire in her business. Love having you here, Jesse. This is so good. Between today and July 13th, which is my birthday, I'm gonna be 35. <laughs> I am giving away a fast action bonus where you will qualify to get the 83 page workbook as a hard copy and a branded journal. Also, you will get a one hour, one on one coaching session with me. More details can be found, brittanybud.com forward slash intensive. You do not want to miss it. Let's do a little bit of a QA. and a Does anyone have any questions before I hop off? We can talk about business, we can talk about mindset, we can talk about money, we can talk about whatever you want. I actually had one of my clients DM me and be like, here's a list of questions that I want you to answer. Let me pull them up. 
Her name is Anina. She is so amazing. Where are we here? So she goes, how can you show your audience that the return on investment is worth the investment? And I love this question. A lot of us are not business coaches. So for me, it's super simple to say, hey, we're gonna make six figures in one year together. Let's do it, amazing. But not everyone is a business coach. And so a monetary tangible result doesn't apply. Maybe you're a weight loss coach. Again, you have a tangible result. You can say shit like, we're gonna lose 10 pounds in 30 days, woohoo! But not everybody has that. So how do you share with people that it is worth the investment to invest in what it is that you're selling. And so here's the thing, all people want the same thing. We have emotions and we are driven by our emotions. Everybody wants to feel happy, joy, love, safe, and free. Like freedom, time freedom, financial freedom, freedom from what we look like in the mirror, not beating ourselves up. And so if you can efficiently and effectively share that they are gonna have that emotional transformation without saying everything in your life is shit, like I'm not for the bro marketer, like everything fucking sucks in your life, you have to hire me if you ever wanna be happy again. Like let's not do that. We don't have to take people on that pain point journey, but it's just, hey, I know that this is what you want. This is how you want to be feeling. And it's really hard to do it by yourself. Let's make it super fucking easy. Let's work together and make that happen, right? And so the return on investment, maybe it's not money, but if it can be an emotional experience, which it should be, and that's what we're all selling. We're selling whether it's weight loss, whether it's confidence coaching, whether it's business coaching, whether it's products that make you feel good. Maybe you're in network marketing and you're selling hair products or skincare products or makeup products. We're selling an emotion. And so it's up to us to market those emotions effectively. Um, she also says, how do you create demand? in your business? This is such a great question. I love this question. Building demand does take a little bit of time. You have to know exactly who you are and who you help and what you do and why they need to give a shit in order to create that demand. And it's a slow burn, friends. Like being an entrepreneur is not like a one and done, okay? you have to be in it for the long game because it's very easy to look at other coaches and be like, or other entrepreneurs in your space and be like, well, fuck me. They just had like overnight success. Where did this person come from? And now look at them. This is false. You're not comparing apples to apples. You've got apples, oranges, bananas, fucking mangoes, all kinds of things you're comparing. You have no idea what this person has gone through to get to where they are today. And so when it comes to creating that demand, it's showing up every day, it's sharing the value of what it looks like to work with you, it's inviting people to work with you, it's letting them know that, hey, this is gonna change your life. Like, that's where the urgency comes from and that's where the demand comes from. And also, like your energy around this needs to be good. Like people wanna be around people that seem like they're really fucking fun to be around. And so if your energy is, hey, hang out with me as a party, we're gonna get shit done and your life is gonna change, that creates for them demand. They're like, oh, hell yes. How quickly can you take my money? How quickly can I join your group program? How, how do you have room? Let me pay you, please. But it's up to us to make sure that our messaging and our marketing is really fucking effective. And I'm going to be talking about that in the upcoming weeks. I'm going to be live every Thursday at this time for the rest of July talking about getting business in your company and making money. And so messaging and marketing is one of the other things that I'm going to talk about. 
but it needs to share what you're doing and why they need it in their lives. Lastly, she says, what does showing up really mean and look like in terms of action? <gasps> this is such a great question. A lot of people have no idea what it means to show up. A lot of people have no idea what content means. They have no idea what copy means. There's so many words just like thrown around in the entrepreneur world. And one of them is showing up. And so people think, okay, all I have to do is put out like a meme or an inspirational quote and then I've shown up. And this is not true. This is so false. Showing up and it does not look like being on your phone 24 seven. I'm not that about that life. Like I've got three children from three to seven. This girl has no time to be on her phone all day. Like I work from home. My business is my job, but I have shit to do. <laughs> I do not have time to be on my phone all day. Showing up is making yourself present engaging with your audience, giving them lots of great value. What's value? What's value to you? What would you find valuable? Is it tips? Is it tricks? Is it a personalized story? Is it a freebie? Is it a training? Is it a masterclass? Like everything has value. If someone can learn from it and take that information and implement it in their lives. And so we're showing up, we're giving value, we're conversing with people, we're letting them know that we love them, we're letting them know that we wanna serve them and help them, and we're making offers to those people. Like it gets to be that simple. Talking to people, telling them what they what you do, and then offering to, to help them with their problems and they can hire you for it. Like don't make it complicated, people. But we do, we have to show up every day in our business. And this is a great thing about social media, you can pre-plan this shit and have it roll out on a scheduled time. And then boom, it looks like you're showing up even though maybe you're not able to be there. Oh, so good. Donna, hello. Claire says, I am selling joy. And then she says, my comment about mangoes made her laugh. I love it. <laughs> All right, friends. I don't see any more questions and that's totally okay. Make sure you go to brittanybud.com forward slash intensive to get your ass into the August class of this mastermind. You do not want to miss it. There are already amazing powerhouse women involved and you need to be in this room. This container is the program that you need, the only program that you need to make six figures in your business this year organically. We're not doing any slimy selling. We're certainly not doing any fucking hustling. We are creating smart, sustainable businesses that make a lot of fucking money, okay? The only course you need, this is the room where possibility turns into reality and you do not want to miss it, trust me. All right, friends, have an amazing, amazing rest of your day. I'll see you all next Thursday for more. I love you. Have an amazing night. Mwah.